Here's a classic matchup. Durham against Exeter, the Temple Challenge Cup. On the start line and now heading off past Temple Island. It's Durham University on the Buck Station. Exeter University to the left of your picture on the Berkshire Station. Yeah, two very strong rowing universities there. Ex um, Exeter University um, making sure that they have, with their rowing programme, they wound it down a few years ago, I understand, and now they're looking to wind it back up. And Durham University is so, so strong over the years. And we've seen them compete at such a high level. And look at this Durham University crew. They have got out and they are rating high there, Tim. Their boat is just skimming over this water and it looks fantastic. Yeah, darting along in that early stage and that's how they've carved out the lead they now enjoy. Just have a look at the steering though, from, uh, well, both boats actually. Durham heading out towards the boom to the left of your picture and uh, Exeter heading a bit central, but corrected that now. And I think what we're seeing, Tim, is the water is getting more lively and it's just getting a little bit more challenging for the athletes. You have to just stay on top of this and realize that your boat will move and then you have to respond to it. You have to stay relaxed on your feet, but absolutely on top of it. And it's that moment when you're in this quiet part of the race again, where you can get tunnel vision and lose yourself on that course. There's more going on, isn't there? When you get a bit of wind into the mix, slightly more challenging for the athletes, perhaps uh, rather cruelly more entertaining for us. There's more to uh, talk about, more to get our teeth into, more factors in, in play. And I do think this is what makes Henley so special. It is this course that is side by side, is gladiatorial. It isn't in a clinical um, environment, if you like. There are other crews around there. Our ducks we just saw disappearing off around. And you have to manage all those factors. So it's not just being the best athlete, it's being almost the best oarsman or woman as well. Yeah, there's a bit of craft to it, isn't there? And there's also a bit of luck. And, you know, if you get a... <laughs> a wayward goose or a, a bit of wind that, that you don't take into account. Skill, of course, can override luck to a large extent, but actually you want that element of jeopardy in these races, don't you? The unexpected. And many of our, our racing can be now in these six lanes, slightly sterile yeah. environments. Fantastic to you know, be on a start line and, and be alongside. You've got a void course. But this is different. This is a, um, and this I think is why Henley medals are so treasured. Well, a Henley medal definitely treasured at Durham University. Are a step closer to one of those. Yeah. Still only Wednesday morning. Sunday afternoon seems a long way away, but Durham University there, moving definitely in the right direction against Exeter University. And they've got some uh, form in this season in the Met Regatta. Um, they came 11th in Championship 8, um, second university behind three Brooks crews, and not yet had an Oxford Brook crew on the water today, but we know they have a very, very strong entry within this regatta. Um, but of course, in this boat, in, in this um, event in the Temple, they don't have their strongest crew. They've, they've saved that one for the ground. Yeah, so this is a student event, the Temple Challenge Cup. In dates. Lots of Brooks on it last time. Durham University will fancy it this time based on this performance. No reason why not. Still a bit of work to do to uh, ensure their safety through this heat. Yeah, and again, watching Exeter University on the Berkshire side, on the bank side there, with the green and white blades. And they are rate is high, they're higher than the Durham University. They're looking to keep themselves as much as they can at this point into the race. And, and they're rowing well. They are two strong crews. And again, you've got a little bit of steering there. The boat is moving around. You can see the coxswain there. Um, Ruth Chapman, she has just uh, made sure that that's right. Um, and then she's got them back on the straight having been moved a little bit and you can see her looking over to the Durham crew she'll be encouraging her men telling them to keep in the fight because anything can happen so the crowds are building the conditions are livening up a little bit the wind picking up 
Durham University have made sublime progress through against Exeter. Very well drilled. A very relaxed performance here by them at this stage. They have done their work earlier on in the course. They got that huge lead and now they are just pressing each stroke away. They've dropped their rate and they're showing their power and just maintaining that advantage. Yeah, unfazed, untroubled. Um, through to the next round of the Temple Challenge Cup. Durham University beating Exeter University comfortably. No melodramatics, no real celebrations from them. They'll just paddle off and get their feet up, make sure they can come back fully fit, fully focused for the next round. There are Exeter University over the line now. That was the Men's Eights, the Temple Challenge Cup, the student event. Durham through.